Hello guys, welcome to this session where I'll be showing you how to combine both the filter function and the choose column function in Excel. So these functions are both part of the dynamic arrays that was came out in Microsoft Excel. So let's take for instance, I want to choose only this pizza column, the price column and the amount column. So there's a function called choose column. So if I say equals to choose, right? Because it's choose columns, right? It's asking for the array. That's the first condition. So I will select the entire array. Comma. Now the next condition is asking for the column number, right? So the column number, I want column pizza. So pizza should be column two, comma, price should be column three, comma, then amount should be column five, right? Where's my bracket? Enter. And voila, you can see, right? Very fast, very dynamic. It just highlighted both, it just selected both columns for me, both the pizza, the price, and the amount sold. Okay, awesome. So what about in a situation where I want to use the filter function? I want to use filter. So filter is part of the dynamic array. So I say equals to filter. Condition one is my array. That's my entire data array. Comma. The include is what I'm filtering by. So I'll select the entire pizza column. Must be equals to double quote meter. Let me also I'm looking for meter. I want to filter for only meter. Right? So if I press enter, you can see that what it gave me now, it gave me the entire data. I just filtered for only pizza, but it still gave me the serial number, the pizza sold, the price, the quantity, amount, time, and the rest. But it's not doing it the way I want. I only want to see just three columns here, which are these three columns only, right? So before now, there was a way I used to do it. I used to use filter and filter. I used to put filter upon another filter. So what I mean by that, if I say equals to, I'm just undo that I did just now. So this one here, right? What I would have done before, I would have come here, I would have said filter again. I would have said filter, or comma, and I'll put a coily bracket. So I'll select the columns I want. So for column zero, I don't want column serial number. So I'll put zero, comma. I want the pizza, so I'll put one, comma. I want the price, I'll put one, comma, zero, comma, one, comma zero comma zero so there should be seven columns that's one two three four five six seven right double curly brackets then i close my bracket i press enter so that was the way we used to do it before you can see right oh that's a filter instead of another filter itself which this is this also works fine but it's also you can also use the you can also use the choose column too with this so let's check it out i will say equals to filter Right, the array is entire data array, comma. The include is what your that's your criteria. So your criteria range, we set all this as my criteria range equals to double quotes. What am I looking for? I'm looking for mitzer. Mitzer. I put comma. They say value if not found. I say value empty. I say value. Let's say not available. Label, but usually they are usually optional. So when you say square brackets inside the formula, it means that it's optional, right? I close my bracket, right? So that's just step one. Step one gives me the that's filter the data for only pizza. But step two now to get only pizza sold column, price column, and what amount sold columns. What I'll do now, I'll use the choose column. I'll say choose, sorry, choose column. Comma, column number, I want column two, I want column, what's again? Let me look at it very well. Column two, I want column three, I want column five. Close my brackets. Enter, voila. And you can see, they're basically the same thing. You can see how cool this is, right? And this is very amazing because of, since it's a dynamic array, it's also, if you change any of the data, it also changes real time. You can see, right? So that's one of the amazing features about it. So I hope you guys learned a lot. This is very important about your research. Bye and have fun, guys. Mm -hmm.